Good afternoon. Today I am going to be doing something a little different. Today I'm going to be working with primarily with Python and just demonstrating how you can eliminate ifs and switches by using uh, anonymous functions. You know, like always, I have my code that I have uh, written out. I've got it there. But let's, so yeah, let's get started. So what we're going to do is store the uh, uh, we're going to store a bunch of uh, anonymous functions within uh, uh, an object and then put that inside of a dictionary so that instead of uh, instead of having something like uh, if user input equals a uh, do what do you know a's function or if uh, user input equals b do b's function etc instead we will just store a we will store functionality for each input within this uh, dictionary or in this case then we're going to have user input uh, You're starting to see, okay. Now we don't need that. Now we'll have a primary. Let's just have a few options. So we'll have new option, which is position zero. We're gonna call it option zero. That's its description. And the function will just be a lambda with no arguments. In this case, we're just gonna have a regex. Right. Compile all that. As you can see, we have all our options. Um, so if we do options for, oh, for, now we have an options like that. So now to call the function, we simply, I believe we would do options for dot fun. And then that calls the regex, right? So we just need to provide the user. Oh, wait, no, we've got it. User input option four. Okay, so now we need to execute. So def execute. Um, so we'll do uh, user input. Dot fun. Ooh. What am I doing? Execute. Oh. There we are. Or we'll execute three. Now, in you could, this basically eliminates the need for if else, if else, if else, if else uh, for user options. This uh, also, you know, in this case, we're using user input, but imagine you're taking like five different uh, potential values from a server or something. You just pass the value from HTTP request or something and you encapsulate the options 
into uh, into something like this where you just look it up in options rather than doing if else if else if else uh, obviously you would have to you know if user input returns nothing then uh, you can't call dot fun on it and throw an error so you would have to make sure you correctly handle conditions and you could also have another option like uh, option help or something which is called help and that would call a function called display all descriptions or something and then when you run help it would run it would map through all of the options and print the description uh, slot within the class right now now that's the very basic Python I just thought I'd show the exact same pattern in common lisp but show you where having something like new option like this can be hidden away behind something more useful behind uh, macros so let's just compile all of this we don't need that uh, that's all the same we don't well we will ignore the print descriptions but you see how we've got insert option it's basically the same code but we're gonna make a macro def macro new option and we're going to take description or position function no, we're not even going to take a function. We're going to use body. And then we're going to do insert option, position, description. And then we're going to have the lambda. And we don't take any arguments. And then we're going to use locally body. Oops. Uh, and then let's change insert option to new option and then we've got our position our description and in our, this case our return value I will only do uh, two there's no point doing all the others, you've seen the rest. Yeah, 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 I know. New option is not a function. Yeah, it's a macro. Oops. Yeah. And we can see the macro expansion. It's just, uh, you see, basically, the reason this is more epic is because you could do like a, uh, I don't know, you could, you could, you can perform pre-checks and post-checks on the evaluation of the body. Perhaps you always want it to return a string, or you could just do something like uh, let val, and then you could have like. Uh, uh, unless string p val error val didn't return a string and then all of these are wrapped like that so the, the code has been generated for you you don't have to do it manually or oh, we do have to let's take a look at options let's inspect that we've got our options here our functions um, and now let's just run oh no perform oh uh, and we are going to try one uh, that does not work uh, because Oh. 
So yeah, anyway, uh, I hope that was uh, of use. It's pretty simple, but uh, it's quite a useful pattern, and you can uh, basically translatable in uh, all languages. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time.